To make it clearer, I will show you how it looks from the top. If this is the x ray is coming from this direction, this is 180, right? Behind the patient. And this is the 90 degree. You're going to stand on this area, even if it is less than 2 meters. Okay? Now, you can stand either on this side, x ray, 180, 90. Okay, you, you stand at this side, between the 180 and the 90 degree. Or you can stand on the other side, both, both sides. This is the 180, this is the 90, so you can stand either in this direct, uh, position or in this position. This is if you're doing an x-ray for the upper central incisors. Repeat, x-ray scattered radiation which has generated here, you, you are not allowed to stand in this area, you will be subjected to scattered radiation. So, 90 degrees to the beam, you stand behind it, either on this side or on this side. This is if you're doing the upper central incisors or the lower central incisors, both positions, upper central, lower central. 180 to the beam, this is the beam, 180 to the beam, okay, 90 degrees perpendicular to the beam, and then you stand in between, either in, in, in this direction, in this direction, or in this direction, and uh, this is if you don't have a two, a two meter distance. If you're doing the premolars and the molars, then the sensor holder, again I'm using this beam, huh? These are the, for the premolars, then you ask the patient to bite. Okay. So, the x-ray is going to come in this direction, right? I'll just turn it this way so that you can, it will be easier for you to uh, view it in the camera. This is how the x-ray is going to be directed, right? At the premolars. And this is how it will be directed at the premolars from the other side. So, where to stand in the molar and the premolar area? upper and lower, okay, simple. This is the x-ray, so this is 180 degrees. X-ray is coming from this direction, okay. This is the 180, and this is the, this is the 90 over here. So where, where will I stand? 180, and this is the 90. 180, 190, uh, 90. Okay, so I will be standing, if I'm doing the premolar, then I will stand behind the patient's head at an area of between, located between 180 and 190, so it will be in either this direction, again, 180 and 90, I will stand behind, always behind the patient's head, so that the x-ray which is generated here will be absorbed by the patient's head. Most of the uh, uh, dentists that I have seen them working, when they do the, the x-ray for the premolars, they will stand here, or behind the x-ray, behind the x-ray beam. This is incorrect, because you are going to receive the, the scattered radiation which is uh, emitted by the patient's head, okay? This will not prevent radiation from to, to come to you. So you're being exposed to the scattered radiation. If you're doing the premolar on the other side, don't stand behind the beam. Huh? You stand 180, 190, you stand in this direction. Premolars, 180, 90, you stand here. So that the patient's head will absorb the scattered radiation. 